hungry. Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am here with my pals, Mikey and Jamie. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi, Lisa. You sound so chipper this afternoon. I'm chipper because, we, I don't know, we've been gone for a week and we're back and I'm excited to be here. And I don't know, I feel rested after the holiday. How about you guys? Good. We had a good holiday. Yeah, it was it was relaxing. It was nice. It was warm, but we, we relaxed inside. Good. Yeah, it just didn't feel like July 4th. And then, you know, living in the new house where I am, I did not hear one like firecracker, firework. And I was excited because I, my dogs are usually, well, Lolly's usually petrified and I was worried about Bam Bam, but we had nothing, no action. Oh, wow. We, it was like a war zone here. It was from basically 8.30 until maybe, Penny's even crying about now, for until about 1 a.m. It was just nonstop, like fireworks, like Was crazy. she scared? Penny's such a yeah, whiner. She was terrified. It's so funny because we're only like a mile or two away from you. I, that is true. And I don't know. And everybody was complaining, but maybe it's where my house is situated. It was like nothing. I didn't even realize it was July 4th, honestly. And I did absolutely so little this weekend. It was great. <laughs> Except I did make a lot of shakes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but that was Sunday. That was the fifth. It was a whole new world. Okay. I'm very excited about this week's episode because yet again, we have another haul, except this isn't really like a full on haul. Usually a haul implies that like we go somewhere and then schlep the products back. Most of these products were sent to us. So it's well, so it's a hungry land haul. Yeah, it's a, exactly. Okay, good. It's a hungry land haul. And it's, um, it's really like a new products taste test episode. I wouldn't even call them I mean, they might be new finds that we fall in love with, but they might also be things that we don't really like. What do you think? Uh oh. I don't know. I think I some mean, of these look really good. There's some delicious looking yeah, items in front of us. So <laughs> I'm, I'm literally excited. excited for everything I see in front of me right now. The, this table, I'm going to send a picture and put it on the show page because where I'm sitting, it looks like ridiculous. And then there's like family <laughs> photos and hummus and Skittles and all these things <laughs> all mixed together. And it's kind of funny. All right. Before we get in and start to chew and sip, what do we got, Mike? Breaking Okay, have you all ever heard of Cupcake Vineyards? I haven't, have you? Yes. You have? Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, they've just come out with low-calorie wine that's only, <gasps> yeah, only 80 calories a serving. The flavors are, so there's four of them. There's a Chardonnay with, a note, with notes of pineapple and pear, a Pinot Grigio with notes of lemon and apple, the Rosé has notes of watermelon and grapefruit, and the Pinot Noir is flavored with plum and strawberry. The bottles, I guess, are only nine ninety nine, which is cheap for wine, and obviously not cheaper than two buck chuck, but still pretty cheap. Um, and it's it's hitting stores like right now, so you should be able to get them. What? That sounds fun to me. Like I'm not a big wine drinker, but like I'm the kind of person that would like wine. I'm embarrassed to say this, but like I like wine spritzers, mm -hmm. so it's almost like it's nineteen eighty. <laughs> I think all wine would probably taste better if I like sprinkled some drink mix powders oh. into it. <laughs> I'm the Worst. So that's why that, you know, anytime someone says it has notes of chocolate and flowers and pineapple, <laughs> it's like, I'm like, it just tastes like wine. But I'm excited about this. Yeah. I'm embarrassed, by the way, Did for my, my <laughs> wine knowledge and feelings. Were you a, um, what was it, Boone Farms? Was that the wine that you would drink? Yeah, or? Boone's Farm Strawberry yeah. Hill. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it's okay. I'm Wine puts me to sleep. And I don't want to say, like, when I was in France, I drank Rosé on the Rocks. I felt very fancy. I was trying to, like, keep it together and be a person. But, like, in reality, the idea of this wine sounds more fun to me than regular wine. Yeah. Well, so it's cupcake vineyards. Are there is there stuff supposed to taste like cupcakes? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I have some cupcake. That's so disappointing. Rosé yeah. or something. <laughs> that was when I heard cupcake vineyards. I'm like, and they, their flavors are chocolate peanut butter and lemon meringue. That'd be amazing. See, now you sound like me. <laughs> um, anyway, I would try it and I will try it. And for $9.99, is it like, does it have a screw top? Oh, I'm probably, <laughs> probably sure for nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> really yeah. Uh, for nine. Okay, yeah. well, if it has bubbles, I'll be excited. It comes in a box. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got one more story. Uh, this is huge news for Star Wars ner ner I mean, fans. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Baby Yoda cereal is coming out at the end of July. It will be first sold at Sam's Club and then sold at Walmart starting in August. So July, it's Sam's Club. August, it's Walmart. Um, and it's made by General Mills. It's a corn puff cereal with marshmallows in the shape of the baby. Baby Yoda. And by the way, I don't know if you know this, but he's actually not called Baby Yoda. It's he's just called the child. So there you go. OK, so it sounds like it'll be like a little bit reminiscent of Lucky Charms, except I think that cereal is oats and not corn. But I like corn cereal and everybody's obsessed with Yoda, the 
child or whatever he's called. I don't know. I'm not a. I mean, he's, he's so cute. I yeah, I don't get it. He's pretty cute. He's cute. He's I feel like this will be an appetite suppressant because Baby Yoda's too cute to eat. So I'll just look at it and be like, oh, <laughs> I'm not hungry. I think he is just cute enough to eat. Actually, <laughs> so I'm excited. I do like marshmallow cereals. I'll, I will definitely try it and maybe even like put it in a blender with some Ooh. almond milk and make a Baby Yoda ah, shake that's so situation. Funny. This will be one oh. heck of a party. We'll be having cupcake vineyards, <laughs> wine, and uh, Star Wars cereal. A Baby Yoda smoothie. Oh boy. Sounds the, sounds not wrong. Baby Yoda. What is he? Child Yoda, the young a child, one? The child smoothie. <laughs> child, <laughs> sounds, a child smoothie. Now it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Baby smoothies. Oh, All right. God. Um first up today in the world of taste testing. This is a product that I have to be honest, someone brought to me. It was Erin who works with us, her husband Josh, who like works in like asset protection at Walmart like raced home one day with this box of Skittles drink mix so I could try it. And then I used it in a Facebook live. And I don't remember, I think I made like some kind of an alcoholic beverage with it. And I didn't remember trying it on its own. And like now it's out and they sent us boxes of it. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun if we tasted these drink mix flavors and compared them to real Skittles to see how they match up? Because Skittles are unbelievably popular. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are you guys Skittles fans? I used to be, but not really anymore. I would always go for chocolate over like sugary candy. Over like mm -hmm. yeah. sugary candy. Well, I got you guys a share size, like a movie, a movie theater size packet of Skittles. I dropped it at your house because I'm a wonderful human being. You are a wonderful human being. And <laughs> not just because of that. And we're but... going <laughs> to... But mostly because of that. <laughs> so we thought it would be fun. So Skittles come in four flavors, and these flavors are green, apple, strawberry, orange, grape. Oh, wait a minute. I'm lying. I guess I'm not a Skittles maniac. Lemon is also a flavor, but I don't think lemon is in the drink mix, is it? No, and we only have three flavors. You have four? We I, I, I sent you four. We have strawberry, green apple, and orange. Did we miss well, one? Well, I sent you. Mm -mm. No. Those are the only three colors. Yeah. I sent I sent you four. Mike le Mike lost a packet, <laughs> or he drank it. He was thirsty. Okay. Well, despite the snafu, the Skittle <laughs> snafu, we're going to try. Well, tell me which ones you have. We'll try those first, and then I'll do the, okay. the fourth one. Last. So we have strawberry, we have green apple, and we have orange. Okay, we're trying strawberry first. So wait, what do we do first? Do we try the Skittle and then the drink? Yeah. Or do we? Okay, we'll try. I the feel like Skittle you need a palate cleanser in between. So wait, the <laughs> strawberry is the red one. Yes. Okay. No, Mike, it's green. <laughs> I was making sure. <laughs> mm. I'm eating a strawberry Skittle. Make sure you get it all out of your teeth before you taste the drink. I just did. I took it out. I didn't even eat the whole, I didn't like swallow the whole Skittle because I didn't want to like cloud my taste buds. Hmm. I feel like it's close. it does taste like the Skittle. It's pretty intense. Actually, I've been drinking a lot of strawberry drink mix powders lately because I've been making recipes with them. This is really good. This is one of my favorites. Because it's not, it's like got a little tartness to it. It's not overly sweet. I think it tastes like the Skittle. I'd give it like an eight out of ten in Skittleosity. Wow, not bad. If that's a if that's a thing, I feel like strawberry okay. drink mixes can be hard to come by too. They're not as po you yeah. know they're not as common as like lemonade. True, but I think Crush makes them. Crystal Light makes a couple. Um, Mike's just this is Mike's just straight up eating Skittles now. Well, you crush. Okay, next up. Wait, I'm gonna try the apple drink next, okay. and then I'm I'm gonna try the Skittle after. All right, okay. let's, Mike, do you have the so the drink first? Yes. Mmm. Not surprisingly, it the is drink the... is so good. <laughs> it's so like tart Ooh. and yummy. This would be great as a slushie. That is really good. What are these sweetened with? Are these sweetened with the aspartame? I think they must be. That is very sweet. You made it too sweet. You have to use at least 16 ounces of water. I use 20. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. 20? Because mm -hmm. it says if you want a milder flavor to use 20. Oh, boy. I think it tastes better. Uh, the drink is better than the actual Skittle. Wow. Yeah, the Skittle is kind of boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. But similarly, Apple, maybe this whole exercise is futile. <laughs> I don't know. But I really do like the Apple. And then my chewed Skittles sitting on an index card are really attractive, <laughs> I have to tell you. <laughs> Um, but it's good. It's I think I love the tartness of the apple. Are these sweetened with aspartame? Is that what they're sweet? Do you have the box by any chance? No. I can go get them. Do we have the box? I think oh, it's. The box. Oh, maybe I'm the one that had the box. I think we should put it up on the page what it's sweetened with. But I think they have ten calories each, so they're all sugar free. Did you guys ever wonder why? So like, the whole world 
I don't want to get philosophical, but like the whole world is sort of like anti diet soda now. Mm -hmm. And yet every single drink mix that comes out, there are none of them that are made with sugar. They're all sugar free. Mm -hmm. It's just a weird thing. And I don't, I can't really figure it out. So it's aspartame that it's sweetened with. Okay. So it's aspartame and ACE K, which is, I don't know the long name. Oh, I like that you can get these in a variety pack. You don't have to get just the grape or just the orange. There's, yeah, I think they only come in a variety pack. I like that. I don't think they come the other way. Yeah, it's great. So you get all, all for all four, <laughs> not five and not three. Yeah, for um for one. Okay. Next up, I'm gonna. Do you have the orange or no? Yeah, yeah, we have the orange. All right, let's try that. The Are skittle you skittling first? first. Oh, no, she wouldn't drink. Mm, the orange is lovely. Oh. You know, it does not taste. Sometimes orange flavored stuff tastes like either baby aspirin or it like burns your throat. This is really nice. I like it. It's perfect. Kind of reminds me reminds me of Orange Crush a little mm-hmm. bit. It tastes just mm. like the Skittle. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I would change. make these into popsicles. Mmm, popsicles. I want Skittles creamsicles. Ooh, I wonder if you mixed it with, what would you mix it with to make a creamsicle popsicle? Creamsicle, I mean, you'd have to I would probably like vanilla Greek yogurt frozen or something or just ice cream. Yeah. Vanilla ice cream. All right. I'm going to try the grape now that you don't have. I'm sorry. Are you jealous? It's going to be the best one. We know it. Oh my gosh. I've never tasted anything so delicious (sighs) in my entire life. Stop (laughs) it. It's fine. It's, um, tastes like a melted grape lollipop. Grape ape. That's all I think about when I think of grape. I think I like the grape Skittle more than I like the grape Skittle drink. Do you remember the Skittles theme song? No. Skittle, Skittles, bright size candies, taste the rainbow of fruit flavors. It's Skittles. <laughs> it's my favorite thing that's ever <laughs> happens on the podcast come out of Mike's mouth. Thank you. Mike, I love that. The remix is going to be at the end of the year the on our re- best of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's, I want to give these people some valuable information so they're not like, like, what the heck am I tuning into? So for those of you who may or may not know, like I am obsessed with, even though I don't have a lot of artificial sweeteners, for whatever reason, my sometimes foods include sugar-free drink mix packets. So I have drawers in my home filled with them. And now the Skittles have earned a place in these drawers. And I use them to make frozen desserts and I use them to make smoothies and I use them to make drinks and cocktails. And I love them. And a little bit goes a long way and they taste really good. And these are top notch and they're really cheap. So talk about inexpensive ways to get like um, a sweet fix Sometimes if I'm really like craving something and I stop eating usually at four o'clock and if I want a little treat, I'll make one of these or I'll put a quarter of a packet in a bottle of water and it's oh, that's it's really satisfying. Idea. I used to do it after a meal if I was like feeling really hungry and I didn't want to stop eating. I would like chug a bottle, like I would put one in a bottle and chug it and it was just like instantly mm. filling. It's like, it's a good little like dessert. It's a sometimes mm. food. Yeah. Again, it's not like, look, I, I try to eat as healthy as possible. I try to eat as clean as possible. Every now and then I'll have something with an artificial sweetener. 90% of the time I'm not doing that. But when I do, this is a decent option. You agree? There you go. Agreed. Okay. Bring on the chewing. Bring on the chewing. Okay, the next item up for chewing is um, these were actually sent to us. And so they were nice enough to deliver these right to you, Jamie. Yep. This is Hope Foods. They make hummus usually, but they have these new small batch dips. These are cashew and almond dips, which Mm -hmm. I thought sounded interesting. Mm -hmm. And the two flavors we have are roasted red pepper and French onion. Yes. Make you sure you those? make sure you stir it. I love that the when you take the lid off, there's a, a message to you that says stir. A message to you. I know because there's so much oil. I actually before this podcast, I like poured some of the oil out because oh, well. there's so much oil on top of my um roasted red pepper one. Yeah. yeah. But that's okay. Ours too, so, but I wanted to give it a fair shake, so I mixed <laughs> it in. Good for you. All right, so what are the calorie counts of this, Jamie, before we dive in? Okay, so two two tablespoons has 90 calories, five to eight grams of fat, and three smart points. Okay. I'm tasting this now just on a spoon. I absolutely love this. Wow. First of all, it's got so much flavor, and it's creamy, and there's like little, mm. I don't know if it's cashews or almonds, but there's little mm. tiny, you could mm-hmm. taste like the little pieces of nuts in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love the texture. That's it's so totally yum. different that than I was expecting. That is amazing. Like, 
I'm going to make wrap or something with that. Like totally. That's, wow. Oh, that's perfect for a sandwich. The roasted Great. red pepper yeah. one. Yeah, with turkey on a wrap. Ooh. I feel like I know this probably makes me weird, but I would take two tablespoons of that and a container of fat-free like Faye Greek yogurt and mix it together just to have like a really big dip mm-hmm. with like some, you know, like a big creamy dip that I yeah, can like eat a like veggie, a lot of. Yeah, like a big creamy veggie dip. I bet yeah. that would be good. Because mm. it's so flavorful. I mm-hmm. feel like you could do that. Or even with mm-hmm. like a quarter cup of yogurt and mm-hmm. two tablespoons of that just to supersize it. Yeah, I feel like a little bit will go a long way. Mm -hmm. I don't think you even need two full tablespoons of this. Mm -hmm. But all right, are we trying the French onion? We don't have it, so we have have to trust. uh, (laughs) We're living vicariously through you. Oh, this is the second best thing I ever uh, ate in my entire life. Yeah. No, this is really good, actually. It's very, it tastes like caramelized onions. It's a tiny bit sweet, it still has the texture. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a very adult, healthy, Onion dip. Ooh. Ooh, like the packeted mixes that you get, but like uh-huh. upscale. Very much. This is incredible. I would also use it in that same way. But I would put it on like cucumbers, on a sandwich. You could use it with chips. If only there was a, a product we try, we're going to try earlier or later, excuse me, in this episode that might go with it. Mm, foreshadowing. <laughs> well, oh, like a potato chip? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if that's happening. <laughs> By the way, you can get these at Ralph's, Whole Foods, Target, and Sprouts. And they're refrigerated. I highly recommend. Refrigerated. Yeah. Keep them in the fridge, baby. I love, these are really good. Like thumbs up on these. I will buy and eat these. Yay. Yeah. Success. Okay, next. Are we ready for the next uh, item up for chewing? Yes. Very ready. Okay, these are, we have two products from this company called Brahmi. Do you know the name Brahmi people? We've written about the Brahmi uh, snacking lupini beans. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That may have come and gone because we haven't. We didn't really make any hoopla about it, but I don't know, Jamie. You were really into these for a while. I am. I really, really like them. I think they're so fun. So these are snacking lupini beans. What do you know about them? Because you probably know more about lupini beans than I do. So they call them like like a power bean, the ancient legume. Once powered Roman warriors, they have like a whole story. Um, what? They made that up. I know it's pretty funny, but but listen to these <laughs> stats. more protein than eggs, 80% fewer calories than almonds, 60% fewer carbs than chickpeas, and twice the fiber of edamame. Wow. Holy moly. Yeah. And these are like pickled. They're in like a, they're like marinated. Yeah, they come in a pouch and there's four flavors. So the flavors that I have here, which I don't think we're going to try all four, but we have um, Italian snacking beans marinated with hot chili peppers. There's one that's a Mediterranean classic reinvented. There's one with chili and lime. And then one with garlic and wah wah rosemary, rosemary, which I do not enjoy. Which There's a very nice um, hungry girl fan named Rosemary. So let's yeah, not Rosemary. Her. Wait, she's gonna she'll have a heart attack if we say her full name. So we will. Rosemary, rosemary Badger. Badger. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Rosemary. Yeah, she's the best. She's the only Rosemary that's a okay in my book. <laughs> All which right, one? which flavor are you trying? Not the rosemary. No, I'm trying. I'm trying the red hot chili pepper or the just hot chili peppers. <gasps> Holy Wait, moly! Lisa, something huh? that I never noticed before that I'm really liking about this pouch. It's mm-hmm. resealable. Oh yeah, I didn't remember it being that. That's a good. What's good the point feature. of a pouch if you can't reseal it? Yeah. All right. First of all, that's super spicy, but I like it. First of all, it will definitely. If you eat these, you can't eat. You can't overeat them because your mouth is on fire. <laughs> these are the red hot chili peppers. No, no, those are. Um, we're trying the lime and chili. Mm. So the sixty cal. This whole pouch is one hundred and eighty calories. It's a huge pouch. No wonder why you love these, Jamie, because mm. they're like mm. filling. And I'm gonna try another flavor. They're so good. Try the lime and chili. Wow, that is so good. Wait, I was gonna try the Mediterranean. Oh yeah, that one's Where good do too. people get these? Because I think everybody needs to try these. I've seen them in the produce aisle, just like hanging from a, a thing in the produce aisle, but you can get them at Whole Foods, Sprouts, Pavilions, Wegmans, Giant, Amazon. It's one smart point. You get 25 beans for 60 calories, one gram of fat, five grams of fiber, and seven grams of plant protein. Holy macaroni. Yeah. What happened to you put these in an air fryer? Oh, Has let's anyone ever try tried that? It. Oh my gosh. We have to. I love it. Um, but yeah, yeah like these crunchy. things are amazing. I love they're like, almost crunchy. Yeah, I love the texture. And they're they're like whole claim to fame is that they are extremely satisfying. They really fill you up. Mm-hmm. Um the chili and lime tastes like Mr. Clean. What? Oh my oh. gosh, I liked it so much. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> really? 
Well, you've ruined it's it for us lime. now. Now it's all I'm going to Too much about. lime. <laughs> I might use it. I might use it to clean the floors. But no, I like these are getting an A. I don't care. I'll just pick the flavors I like okay. more than others. But I love the texture of them. I love mm. the stats. I love the nutritional values. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love the mascot. Do you see the mascot? He's a little Roman warrior <laughs> shaped like a bean. Oh, with a cape. He's a bean in a cape. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. But now they made an, a new product too. Like they made hummus out of these beans, right? Yes. I have an, I have an initial bean. gripe. I wonder if you have the same one. Mm, <laughs> did you open it yet? Tell me. No, uh, no. Which one did you open? The col- Oh, you have different flavors. Than oh, I really? Do. Yeah. We opened up the um, original recipe. Oh, I didn't take that one. I, I get you. See, I, I split it up and I took the Calabrian pepper. Yeah. What the the other one we that? have is garlic and rosemary. Of course. I give you all the <laughs> rosemary stuff. <laughs> so it's like swimming in oil. It's like a blob of hummus swimming in oil. Oh, boy. I can't even open this. But unlike the other oh. one, it doesn't say stir. But we're going we're gonna to assume that's what they want us to. Mike, you got to mix it. He's just biting into it. Yeah, I was going right into it. <laughs> I'm going to try the Calabrian pepper. Mm. Hmm. It's different. This is hot, holy macaroni. Ooh. I think I need to put it on a... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hmm. It's almost... You know what it is? I really do like it. What are the stats of this? So it's like low-end hummus stats. It's 50 calories and 4 grams of fat. It's interesting because it says 50%... Oh, fewer carbs than regular hummus. So that's cool. It has fewer... 50% less carbs... It's interesting because what it's lacking, in my opinion, is like any degree of creaminess or fat. Mm -hmm. I think all Mm -hmm. the fat is coming from the oil and it's not like somehow making its way into the flavor of the actual product, but it's good. I like, I like it, but if you, it doesn't taste rich. Yeah. I like, it tastes healthy, Mm -hmm. but I also feel like I wouldn't overdo it. That's true. I think I like the beans, though. I like it. I'm surprised. So one smart point, you can get it at Whole Foods, Sprouts, Pavilions, Wegmans, basically all the places you can get the beans. Brahmi, Lupini. It Does this say Lupini, beans, hummus? All these words are so... I don't even know what these words mean, but hopefully people yeah. will get it. I'm licking try. my fingers, so she must like and it, I'll put too. it all up on the jump page. Um the uh, foodcast page, excuse me. Oh yeah, um, with with pictures and everything, so people can see and what that's it looks like. Hungry dash girl dot com slash foodcast. Yeah, and if you can't find the foodcast page, you could always text Mike whenever you want, like in the middle of the <laughs> night. What's the number? Yeah, eight zero five three eight zero eight zero seven five, and um, yeah, text me in the middle of the night. I'll respond uh, right away. I'd be concerned <laughs> if they can remember and find his phone number, but not the slash foodcast page. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be worried, Jamie, if that were the case. Distrusted. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, all right, are we ready for the next item up for chewing? Yeah. Okay, this is a good one. All right, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you that I've already eaten these and I am a tremendous fan, but thought that it was worth bringing on to share with everybody. This is a product that's called The Good Crisp, and it is a potato chip product that is an exact Pringles doppelganger in sight in the can, in the way that these chips are Sitting in the can, everything under the sun about them looks like Pringles, except to me, they are 10,000 bazillion times better than Pringles. Wow. That's high praise. And they come in all these different flavors, but I only have the originals today. Mm -hmm. So it it comes in aged white cheddar, classic original, sea salt and vinegar, outback barbecue, and sour cream and onion. Mm. And the deal with these, they're gluten-free. Non-GMO, no artificial colors or flavors. They're like the healthy, healthy, healthy version of Pringles. All right. I want to say something. Pringles to me taste so fake. Um, They coat your tongue with like a layer of fat. These are just like clean and delicious. Mike, did you try them? I did. I love them. And I even went a step further. What did I you dipped dip it them in? That in that hummus, uh, the roasted red pepper uh, hope product. Oh, my God. So good. Wow. I'm going to tell you that I've already purchased these Good Crisp chips on Amazon two times. I've gotten the so-called single double serving cans. They're like a single serving, but it, it's really a double serving, but it looks like a single serving. And I know the can. Oh, mm-hmm. that's... Yeah, it's two servings. It's 280. That's a nice portion, though, if you can have half of that uh, can. I can no. have half of the can. I've <laughs> only ever had the entire can, and I work, I work this into my life. I account for the extra calories because it is so worth it. I mean, I'm not, 
I, I, I'm not going to lie. Like I eat the entire can. So it's one ounce is 140 calories, seven grams of fat, five smart points, and apparently worth every one of them. Right. So I eat 280 calories and, and 14 grams of fat. And then that's most of my meal. <laughs> and then I eat big salad and vegetables and I love every second of it. Seriously. So these can be found at Whole Foods, Walmart, Wegmans, and other retailers nationwide, or as Mike likes to say. At other fine retailers. <laughs> And find them, but I always find them on Amazon. And then I find them in front of my house in a box. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Uh, I, probably the original, although the sour cream and onion is out of this world. Mm -hmm. And the barbecue. I don't know. I love them all, honestly. I'm like such a fan. It's crazy. Okay, we are now trying something crunchy, something else crunchy. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. There's a lady named Ella. And she makes flats. And what I like about these bags, is, and of course, our product is called Ella's Flats, how appropriately named. <laughs> and Jamie, I'm going to want you to tell me like where people find these things. But I know that these were sent to Hungry Land and I love them because I loved her rainbow logo. Mm -hmm. And I love that, you know, these things are like gluten free, sugar free, high in fiber, grain free. Is it like a supernatural kind of situation? I think it's entirely made of seeds. What? Yeah. So like there's two so different like flavors. So they're like crackers in a bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all it is. I have two. I have, I, I think there are four. There's the caraway here and the hemp. The caraway, the only ingredients are pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds, caraway seeds, and then like some spices. I don't know how they get them to stick together, but. And I have sesame and cumin, or as some people say, cumin. Right. I, I don't say like cumin. That say I don't that. like when people say yeah. cumin. All right. Are we tasting? Uh, but I think it might be right. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what? They're so light and airy. These are great. I'm trying this. I feel like if you want to eat, if you want to have seeds in your life, this is the best. This is so much better than just having straight seeds in your hand. I'm going to dip it in that red pepper. So you're just going to dip everything in there. You're going to dip me in there. I'm not later. dipping anything. I'm dipping it in my face. This is so yeah, yummy. Those are great. You get two flats mm. for 140 to 150 calories, eight to 10 grams fat, four to six grams fiber, seven to eight grams protein, four smart points. How big are the flats? I can't tell because they're all broken. Okay. I have to be honest with you. There's no chance of getting a flat. They're all yeah. broken, but it's okay. But I want to tell you that the cumin ones taste just like chili. I wish I wow. knew how big a flat was. They're Is so it like good. palm sized? No, I think they're maybe bigger. I don't know. It's too hard to tell. Mm. Yeah, because look at the, the front, the sunflower. Yeah. I think they're like the size of your palm or a little smaller. Those are great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, are these on Amazon? They are. Did you say where we can get them? Um, so mm -hmm. mostly, I didn't, thank you. Mostly specialty markets, grocery stores. So not like super mainstream, but you can get them on Amazon. That's all that matters. And these are probably, they're vegan, right? And they're gluten-free. They, they they like hit every single nutritional mark, right? Like Sugar-free, grain-free, gluten-free. They're Made in sunny Florida. I love that it's not cloudy Florida. It's, it literally says made in sunny Florida. In Naples, Florida. No, but they are not. They are not crunch free or flavor free. They are flavorful and crunchy. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yum! Yay! I like those. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. We're getting to the meat of it. We've got a chicken yes. snack stick made by Mighty Spark. Now it says give back. This is like such a big thing now. Like if a company is not a company that gives back then people are not interested. So Mighty Spark is a company. Yeah, what are they even doing? It says doing? every pack <laughs> purchased equals a donated meal. I don't know who they donate to, but I'm sure it might say it somewhere on the bag. Um, but this is a great company, apparently, and everything looks very natural. And these chicken sticks have 60, no, have 50 calories. Is it 50 calories? I think. And two grams of yep. fat. Yeah. 50 calories. And they're a nice big honkin size mm -hmm. and six grams of protein and one smart point. Wow. They are sold on their website, HSN. They're currently sold out on Amazon. So really got to look around a little. These are they're like a specialty. A how Wait, Mike, how did you open yours? Oh, Jamie has it actually. <laughs> I can't open it. Well, there's even a little direction. It says peel, eat and repeat. Oh, my goodness. Ah, OK, got it. OK, I'm going to I'm going to break a piece off now. They look like they're a nice size. Mm hmm. Mm. I like it because it's kind of mild. It's not like overly flavorful. Yeah. That was my first thought is that it's like a little plain, but sometimes they're too salty. And I feel like this is really, like you said, mild. 
It's not going to like give you that weird feeling in your mouth. I mean, is this the best chicken snack stick I've ever eaten? Definitely not. But would I eat this happily? Sure. I like it. And I just dipped it in that red pepper. Oh, Michael. (laughs) Mm. I dare you to dip that in this next item we're going to try. Wait, what is the next item we're going to try? Oh, the amazing chickpea. Which tells you nothing about what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an amazing chickpea. Wait, this is like chickpea. So this comes in, I kept the crunchy, I think, and I gave you the smooth, but this is like the chickpeas answer mm-hmm. to peanut butter, right? It's like chickpea butter, right? Amazing peanut butter taste. No nuts. Huh. And it tastes like peanut butter? It's supposed to. I'll be the judge of that. Ooh, look at the texture of this. Oh, it looks peanut buttery. Yeah, I, I mixed stars. um... A little while ago. Oh, yeah. Was it? Mm. My whole face is happy. Wow. Uh-oh. Wow. I love this. Mm. Yeah. Mike, Mike, does Whoa. it pass the peanut oh, butter delicious. test? that's delicious. I did not expect that. Whoa. Mind blown. Amazing. Don't dip it in that. Don't dip it in that hope dip. <laughs> and it looks like the stats, the calories are similar to regular peanut butter, maybe a little bit lower, but I think the fat is less. It's only 10 grams of fat. I think peanut butter is like 16. Hmm. So where are all the extra calories coming from? Sugar? Yeah, sugar is the second ingredient. Ah, got it. That's yum. I would totally eat this. This would I would eat this on a bagel if I ate bagels. <laughs> I would eat it on those little on those little flats which I do eat. How? I would dip this in like veggies. How does it taste like peanut butter? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Like how is that possible? Literally all it is is roasted chickpeas, sugar, olive oil, palm oil, and salt. I am in love with this. Six smart points for two tablespoons, two satisfying tablespoons. It's on Amazon and at select retailers like Giant, Acme, Hy-Vee, Martins, and more. So is this designed for like people who can't have nuts? I bet. Like nut allergies? So people who can't have nuts, your world's about to change. Right? Well, there's others. There's like sunflower seed sunflower butter. Sunflower butter mm. and all that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Good point. But this is good. Like, I think I I think chickpeas are underrated, mm-hmm. actually, because we use them a lot in our brownie and blondie swaps. We bake with them a lot. They work really well with a lot of things. And this is a product that has really hit it out of the park. This has been a delicious haul, and mm-hmm. it's not even over. <laughs> no, because I'm thinking we saved the best for last. Mm-hmm. And what does that mean? It means that next up is Lily's new white chocolate style baking chips and caramel <gasps> baking chips. You didn't even Actually, get the words out and I was. <laughs> hold on. This is salted. Okay. Let me tell you the two flavors because I'm too excited. One is white chocolate baking chips. The next is salted caramel chocolate baking chips. Wow. They're, and it's- they're stevia sweetened and they're 32% cocoa, whatever that means. We're going to try we're going to try the chocolate salted caramel ones first. And the whole idea of these are these these are not vegan because there's some dairy in them, but some of their chips are vegan. I eat Lily's chips. Yeah, I don't even understand it. These stats are amazing. So our pantry for the past, well, I don't know, 4 days, I think is when these came in when you sent them to us, um, has smelled smelled like something and I like really sweet and good. And I thought it was Penny's new dog um, <laughs> treats. It's this. I'm so excited. I don't have to eat her dog treats. No, no, I'm not eating her dog treats. Just kidding. But. All right. I just had some of these. It says sweetened with stevia, but there's also erythritol in these. And they have four grams of fiber. The salted caramel chocolate is to die mm-hmm. for. Only you get 26 chips and they're not the minis, right? They're full size. No, these chips. are big fat. 55 calories, four grams of fat, three to four grams of fiber, and one gram of sugar, two smart points. Wow. That's like nutty. Do we believe it? Yeah. I mean, because regular chips are like 80, for, if, assuming that's like about a tablespoon, the 26 grams. That was really good. Wow. I mean, These are unreal. You know what yeah. I want to do with this? I want to melt these into one of my frozen coffee drinks. Ooh. Like, you know, I melt chips. I want to make like a salted caramel coffee situation wow. i am obsessed with lilies just like today i think we wrote about their cookies yeah they make these like crunchy in a bag chocolate chip cookies that are again like out of this world i can't stop thinking about them they're like these crispy crunchy flat you get like three for 100 calories 
and they're too good. I don't know. Wh- I don't know who Lily is, but I want to meet her. Yeah, let's I really have her on the podcast. Her. I'm gonna make um, pancakes with yes. these. Ooh, good idea. Mm. I would put those All in right. like everything else. I I feel like I have two modes. I either put if it's savory, I put it in a salad. If it's sweet, I put it in yogurt. I would no. put those in yogurt. Mm, these would be good in yogurt. I'm trying the white chocolate mm-hmm. ones now. I don't know if you are, but I'm ahead of you. Oh, I, yeah, I already did. I love white chocolate. I'm there. Are, there are two schools of people. There are people who are like white chocolate snobs, where they're like. White chocolate's not chocolate. Okay, who cares? Second of all, it's delicious, and these chips are amazing. Mm-hmm. I, I like just them. ate four of them. Mm. That's like that's like uh, eight calories. It's nothing. <laughs> Chump change. Does anyone does anyone else make sugar free white chocolate chips? I think there's that that Chalk Zero company might. I'm oh. not sure. I think other people do. Okay, but. I don't know if they're all as good as this. To me, this seemed like really innovative, but I mm-hmm. know that they are more than yeah, innovative. Yeah, Chalk Zero makes them. They're delicious. Yay. So I am obsessed and with Lily. Do you do you see anything about who she is on the website? Is there a person named Lily? Let's find out. In the meantime, I'll tell you they're available at Whole Foods and Lilies.com. And big news, in August, they'll be available at Kroger. Ooh. And it's L-I-L-Y, like Lily. It's not two L's for Lily. So funny. This is about the person that that's behind it is not Lily. It's Cynthia. Does she have a daughter, Lily? Is it like an Amy situation? Because Amy's was named after a baby named Amy. It just goes on and on about Cynthia, and then says in 2010 she decided to make her own no sugar added chocolate and launched Lily Sweets. Well, I love Cynthia with her longtime friend Chuck, who is I love also Chuck. not named Lily. <laughs> I love Chuck and Cynthia, and maybe they have a baby or a dog or a cat or a squirrel named Lily. Yay! This was great. Everything was good. I mean, not everything was amazing, but wait, am I rating them or not? Uh, yeah, you are. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. First up, we had the Zero Sugar Skittles Singles to Go drink mix packets. I'm giving those an eight and a half. Eight five. How about the Hope Foods Cashew and Almond Dips? 9.25. Excellent. Nice. How did you feel about Brahmi Italian snacking lupini beans? Oh, I give those a eight and a half. Those are very creative and clever. And how about the Brahmi hummus? I give that a seven and a half. Not quite as good as the beans themselves. And I know you love these. The good crisp. I'm giving them a nine and a half. Wow. Nice. High price. I know. I'm not even a potato chip eater. I Like I've broken down. They're, like I'm in love. Well, I feel like that's why they're rated so highly. Because if somebody is not a potato chip eater and still gives them a 9.5 mm-hmm. that's just crazy i mean and just to be clear i'm not a potato chip eater because usually i don't think they're worth it mm-hmm. and like i do what you know i have eaten i know we're getting off on a tangent and i apologize because like i've eaten pop chips for the past who knows how many years and i love them but they don't like it's not it's not the same as a potato chip this is a true potato chip yeah. okay enough said Good job, good crisp. All right, how about Ella's flats? Those are an eight and a half, too. Love Ella. I don't know who she is, but she's cute and fun. She's friends with Lily. <laughs> <laughs> how about the Mighty Spark Chicken Snack Stick? That's eh, a seven. It's always good when the lowest ranking one mm-hmm. is still a seven. Um, I'm assuming. Amazing Chickpea, the peanut butter alternative. How was that? Oh, that, um, you know what? That's a nine and a half as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. And last but certainly not least, least, drum roll please, Lily's white chocolate style baking chips and salted caramel baking chips. I think that's a 10 for today. I have to give that a 10. Wow. Like I, I love hoping. them. I love them. They're so you know what it is? It's like some people are usually so heavy handed and not artful with the way they use artificial sweeteners or like mm-hmm. natural sweeteners that are not sugar. And so... Mm-hmm. The use of sugar, alcohols, and uh, stevia in these products, it's just spot on. It's so good. There's no bitterness. It's just a fantastic product. Good job, Lil. Yay. Yay. Okay. Well, uh, what a delicious haul. Yeah. Ooh, boy, now it's time for uh, dinner. Just kidding. <laughs> so I'm really excited about next week because we are going to be back with retro forgotten favorites. And if you don't know what that means... You're going to have to stay tuned because we don't know yet either, but we're going to figure it out and we will be back with a great 
podcast that I know you're going to love. In the meantime, I am going to be on Facebook doing some live cooking demos, as I like to do a few times a week. And Mike is ready to take your texts and answer your questions if you text Mm -hmm. him at 805-380-8075. And if you want to interact directly with Jamie, you could go to the Facebook Lives because she's always in the audience. Or you can see her scouring the Hungry Girl What's Chewing community on Facebook, which is a really fun place to be. Jamie, how can they find that? So if you go to our Hungry Girl page on Facebook and you click on groups, you will find the What's Chewing community. And you join the 70,000 plus people there and just all sorts of fun foodie interaction. And I will be literally sitting there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. She will be sitting there twiddling her thumbs. (laughs) Also, if you are um, not a subscriber to our daily emails, you need to do that. You can go to hungry-girl.com and subscribe. If you have not reviewed the podcast, but you think that we're pretty good and you like us, please review the podcast. If you did not enjoy this podcast, then why are you torturing yourself and listening till the end? But if you're still <laughs> hanging on and listening, it means you must like us. And so therefore you should review us, right? Yeah. How do they do that, Mike? Uh, either in the Apple Podcasts app, you can uh, scroll to the bottom of this episode's you know, page, I guess, as they call it, um, and, and click on the review button. Um, in Google Podcasts, I'm not sure where it is, but there's a button also where you can see, see review, just hit it, and then you can type in your review. And give us five stars if you like us. Yeah. And if you don't like us, don't review us because you don't want to screw up our (laughs) ratings. Anyway, um, that's all the instruction I have for you today. Thanks, Mike and Jamie. This has been very fun. We will, of course, be back next week with another great episode. I'm Lisa Lilly and also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.